Hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odat Nude here, back with another Sublime Text tutorial video. Now I've been using Sublime for quite a few years now, and over the time I've used Sublime, I've been active over on the forum, the Stack Overflow, the Discord, the IRC channel, and now here on YouTube, providing community support for people that are having problems with Sublime. And over that time, I've seen a lot of people ask a lot of questions, and some of those questions seem to be very commonly related to the same thing. That's where I get ideas for videos here on the channel. The other places I get video ideas, of course, are from you when you drop them down in the comments section below. Below. And I thought for today's video, we'd gather up some of the more commonly asked questions that are easier to answer and don't require a long video of their own. So let's jump into some quick fire question and answers about Sublime Text file types and syntax definitions. <music> File types and syntax definitions are multiple facets of the same thing. A syntax definition in Sublime provides it with the information it needs to be able to examine the content of a file to know what the different parts of that file are for. This provides it some file type and structural information, and this information is used all throughout Sublime Text. Examples of that include being able to syntax highlight our code so that when we look at files, we can see color clues to tell us what different parts of the file mean just by visual inspection. And this also provides file type and structure information information as well for anything that might require that, such as key bindings that should only apply in certain situations, commands that should only apply in certain file types, whether or not a build system applies to the type of file you're currently editing, and things of that nature. Now what we have here are some questions that are related to syntax definitions and file types. Loosely speaking, these are all examples of questions that are easy to answer on their own, not really worth a video, so we've rolled them all up and bundled them into sort of a quick fire question and answer video. Why is the content of my file all white? This seemed to work just fine yesterday. Syntax highlighting is controlled by the type of the file that you're editing. So if you don't see any syntax highlighting, the reason for that is Sublime doesn't know what type of file it is you're editing. If you look down in the bottom right-hand corner of the window, there's a field there that tells you what type of file Sublime thinks this currently is. And if that doesn't match the type of file that you're editing, then that is the reason why. Now, the most common reason for something like this is you create a new tab and start typing content for your file into it, but you don't save the file first. The main place that Sublime gets information about what the type of a file is, is from the name that it has on disk. So until you save the file for the first time, it doesn't know what extension the file has, and thus it doesn't know what file type it is. So the easiest way to fix this would be to open the file save dialog and save the file with a name somewhere where you want to persist it using the extension that that file type normally has. And once you do that, you should see syntax information applying. If you want to apply a file type without saving the file first, there are a few ways to do that. One way is to go into to the uh, command palette where there is a set syntax command for all of the types of files that Sublime currently knows how to handle. And by using that and choosing it, you can apply the appropriate syntax and the file type will appear. You can also do this by going up to the view menu and choosing this syntax menu. And there's a list of all of the syntaxes that Sublime knows about. And these are outlined in the order of the packages that they're stored in. So you can also find and select the appropriate file type there as well. As well. And as a shortcut for that, if you were to click your mouse on the file type in the corner of the window, the same menu appears here so you can get at that that much quicker. I have my build system set to automatic, but whenever I try to run my program, it says no build system. What's going on? The determination for what build system should be chosen when the build is set to automatic comes by looking at the type of file that you're editing. So assuming that there's a build system for the type of file that you think you're editing and it's worked in the past, then the reason for this is Sublime doesn't understand what type of file you're editing. And in that case, you should save your file to disk and then you'll be able to run it because once you save the file, Sublime will understand what the file type is. When I run my Python program, I end up with an error message that says it can't find symbol main. What does that mean? This means you haven't saved your file to disk yet. Remember that a build system runs an external program to do something, in this case, the Python interpreter. So unless you save your program to disk, the Python interpreter isn't going to be able to access your code because it's still inside of a Sublime window. For this to work, you would see something like you uh, set the build system directly to Python, or you created a tab and set the syntax to Python using the command palette or the view menu, but didn't save the file first. So save the file, and 
and everything will be good. Now, also remember that when these external programs run, they're going to run on the file that exists on disk. So as a bonus tip and a sanity saver for yourself, always save your files before you build them, not just the first time, but every time. Up here in the tools menu, there's an item labeled save all on build. If you have a check mark next to that, which is checked by default, Sublime will automatically save all files every time you run a build, but it only saves files that already have a name so that you don't get harassed with file save dialogues if you have unsaved buffers. That's a little bit of a bonus tip. When I run my Python program, it seems to hang. What's going on? This isn't actually related to the topic we're talking about here, but since we're talking about running Python files in general, Sublime doesn't support running interactive programs directly. If any program you're running, be it Python or any other program whatsoever that needs to accept input from the user by way of a keyboard, that is not going to work in Sublime unless you take other action. Now, if you check down in the description of the video, I've linked to a video that tells you how you can set something like that up using the awesome Terminus package. I'm trying to expand a snippet, but it's not working properly, and I'm not sure why. This was working perfectly fine yesterday. Snippets are a prime example of a Sublime Text feature that can be dependent on the type of file that you're editing. They can apply everywhere, but they can also constrain themselves to only work in certain types of files or even only certain locations in certain types of files. For example, a snippet might only want to make itself available in a Python file or only inside of a comment inside of a Python file. So if you're trying to use a snippet and it doesn't seem to work, the reason might be that it doesn't think it applies based on the file type that you're using. An example of this that is very common is that you want to create a web page and there's an HTML snippet that provides a stub web page for you to get started with. So you create a new tab, type HTML and press tab and you don't see anything expanding here. And the reason for that is that this is currently a plain text file and as such this doesn't apply in here. HTML tags don't necessarily need to go inside of a plain text file. So you need to tell Sublime what type of file you're editing. For example, saving it to file or using the methods we talked about before like using the command palette or the view menu entries or clicking on the file type in the corner and choosing a new one. And once you do that, the snippet will expand. My file definitely has a name, but I'm not getting any syntax highlighting. The syntax highlighting to use is derived from the type of the file, and the type of the file is derived from the extension of the file. So if you see something like this happening, it means that whatever the extension of the file is, Sublime doesn't understand what type of file it is. And if this is a file type that you know is supported, you can give it a hint to tell it what type of file it is by using the view menus uh, syntax item. And at the top, there's an item labeled open all with current extension as. That will show you a list of all of the syntaxes, just like we have seen previously choose any syntax from that list and hit enter. And as a result, Sublime now knows that this type of file is associated with this type of syntax. And even if I close the file and reopen it, it will remember that information. If you want to do this only temporarily, say for example, to interpret a file as a certain file type, you can just set the file type directly by using the set syntax items as we saw in the command palette or in the syntax menu. I made a mistake and told Sublime to open all files with a certain extension as a certain type of file, and now I don't want it to do that. No problem, there's an easy way to break that association. Open the file that has the extension that you no longer want to associate with a certain type of file, and then go up into the Preferences menu and choose the syntax-specific settings. You can also get this from the Command Palette. Maximize the window. We can see there's a setting over here named Extensions that's telling Sublime what other file types are related to this type of file. So all you have to do is remove that setting, save the settings, and close. And now if we were to close this file and reopen it, the association has been broken. Sublime's not recognizing the type of file that I'm working with, and I'm not finding its syntax in the list of available syntaxes in the menu. Sublime comes pre-installed with support for a lot of commonly used file types, but the list isn't all-inclusive. So if the type of file that you're editing isn't available there, check package control. There might be a third-party package that provides the support that you need. Sublime doesn't have support for the type of file that I'm working with, and I wasn't able to find a package on package control either. Can I create my own syntax definition? You can definitely create your own syntax definition. Note, however, that it's on the advanced end of the customization scale for Sublime Text. However, I do have a video series that I'm running on the channel called Plugin 101 that's covering everything package and plugin related. And at a future date, we will be covering syntax definitions. So if you haven't already subscribed, now might be a good time. 
When it comes right down to it, file type support in Sublime is directly related to the name that the file has. And as we've seen, we can very easily associate any file extension with any file type as we would like. And we can also temporarily set the syntax before the file has a name or even after it does if we want to change the syntax highlighting to make our work a little bit easier in the interim. Hopefully you found this useful and informative. And if you have, please let me know by using those buttons down below to thumb subscribe and share as you deem appropriate. And that's all we have for this tutorial video, but I will be back with another one same time next week. So until then, this is Odat Nerd asking you to please have a sublime day.